Death and grief are universal experiences, but for black girls, these issues of death and grief are usually confounded by racism, sexism, and other forms of oppression. The trauma that black girls face when they lose someone or when they witness violence in the community is rarely ever acknowledged, let alone addressed. Historically and even in our modern day, black women and black girls are told to be resilient and strong and to be the bearers of all of the grief and sadness in our communities. This culture of silence and denial has caused too many black women to suffer in silence for far too long and has caused black women to feel invalidated for way too long. And I've noticed that in 2022 specifically, and even now in 2023, that there are so many books TV shows and pieces of media that are being produced to subvert this trope. So if you're interested in me talking about how black girl trauma and grief as it relates to death is being subverted, keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Ella Pastoral. And in today's video, I am going to be starting off my series for Women's History Month. And this series is called Death and Grief in the Eyes of a Black Girl. And in this series, I'm just gonna be talking about how death and grief are just discussed through the eyes of black women in my nursing class. Right now we're learning about palliative care and how to like walk someone through the process of death. And that just inspired me to make this series. So if you're ready to dive deep into episode one and talk about how Kat and Wendell and Wilde handles death and grief, keep on watching. Watching her parents drown, being orphaned, bullying, the school to prison pipeline, gentrification, literally being terrorized by demons. This is the tragedy and trauma that is being portrayed in Netflix Netflix's 2022 movie called Wendell and Wilde. Wendell and Wilde does a good job at portraying death and grief through the eyes of a struggling young black girl. And I already did a video talking about why I feel like Netflix and us as a general audience let down Wendell and Wilde and I'll link it up for you guys in the iCards. But I really want to talk about how Wendell and Wilde does such a good job at humanizing angry black girls and telling black girls that it's okay to be angry about our trauma. And in this video, I really want to dive deep into Kat's story because I feel like I didn't talk enough about Kat in my previous video. So in order to fully understand the gravity of black girl trauma, we must understand the intersectionality of those identities. Black girls are not just black and they are not just girls, but they are both and more. Their experiences are shaped not only by the intersectionality of their race, their gender, their class, but also by their sexuality, ability, and other aspects of their identity. This means that the trauma that they experience is multifaceted and must be approached in a nuanced way in order to understand and address it. And I really feel like Wendell and Wilde most definitely does this by going all the way from Cash childhood up until what, her teenage years? And Wendell and Wilde is so honest in its way that it portrays trauma. And not only do we see the catalyst of Cash trauma, we see what follows afterwards where she is orphaned and due to the bullying that she faces in the foster system, Cat eventually spirals and literally becomes a problematic child and is immediately put on the school to prison pipeline where at the beginning of the movie Kat is on her last straw where if she doesn't get her act together she's literally going to end up in prison. To see her hometown which her parents played such a vital role in building become a shell of itself is both a symbol of gentrification as well as being representative of Kat's story, where literally she was thriving under the care of her parents to now becoming an empty broken shell after her parents left. We can really see that Kat is more than just a stereotype of a black girl, just by the way she stylizes herself and the way she acts. After being considered a problem child for most of her childhood, you would think that Kat would reform and suppress herself in order to make sure that she doesn't end up going to prison, but Kat refuses to be forced into a mold and she literally does everything she can to show the system and those who wish to suppress and I guess push Kat down that she is still there and she is still going to put up a good fight. And you can just see with the way she is stylized, her piercing, her colored hair, that Kat, yo, Kat is not gonna let anybody push her down. Like she is going to stand up for herself. Black girls who are also members of other marginalized groups face many forms of discrimination and marginalization, which can exacerbate the trauma that they experience. Similarly, black girls who experience poverty or have disabilities may face unique challenges when it comes to accessing mental health care and other resources. And I really feel like Wendell and Wild really hits 
home on this topic because Mendel and Wow has LGBT representation and also shows that poverty is systematically oppressing everybody in the town. Kat's hometown represents the poverty aspect and Kat's friend Raul represents the LGBT issues of this movie. Raul is a trans indigenous man who is dealing with his own issues that we can see with his mom, you know, having money issues because of the lack of financial infrastructure that the town has and while U has his own issues that are portrayed in this movie and overall just looking at the online discourse that has surrounded Rendell and Wilde after like literally spending months promoting it I can really see that you, people don't understand black girl trauma and the complexities that come around it like literally people don't understand um, I saw a Twitter post that was like, please tell me your unpopular Rundle and Raul p opinions. And literally people were like, oh, Kat doesn't um, deserve Raul as a friend. And all I can think about is the fact that Kat is a traumatized girl who is like acting out due to her trauma. And Raul can see this, like Raul has his own you know, complexities. And literally Raul is doing everything that he can do to help Kat. Like, even though Kat is being standoffish, because Kat literally tells Raul several times that she just wants to be alone, but Raul is literally going out of his way to help Kat. Like, sometimes friendships are like that, you know? Like, if Wendell and Wild was like a better structured movie or it was even a TV show, I feel like we would have gotten to see the development of their friendship. But for you guys to be like, oh, Kat's a bad friend. When Shadi wasn't even trying to be friends with Wa'u in the first place, it's a little crazy to me. But let's go back to the video essay. It's really time that we break this cycle and start talking about how we can support black girls who are grieving and dealing with the aftermath of violence. This needs to be acknowledged by talking about systematic oppression and how we need to have better mental health resources for the well-being of black girls and also providing resources and support black girls need to heal. We need to create safe spaces where black girls can share their experiences and feelings without the fear of judgment and dismissal. We need to listen to black girls and their stories and validate their pain and we together need to work on how to become a more just and equitable society where black girls are valued and protected and that's why I even wanted to make my YouTube channel because even if I want to do some escapism right like if I want to dive into fantasy people in fandom are so so mean to black women and I just feel like that's why I have my YouTube channel I really want this space to be open supportive and overall a space where people but specifically black women and black non-binary people can feel welcome and accepted so in conclusion black girl trauma is complex and multifaceted this requires a holistic approach to understand and address black girl trauma and we need to take an intersectional approach and work towards systematic change where we can create a world where black girls are valued protected and supported in their healing and growth Black girl trauma is real and it persists and we need attention and action placed towards this issue so that black girls can feel safe. We cannot continue to ignore the experiences of these young black women and the impact the systematic oppression has on their lives. It's time to break the silence and start working towards promoting immediate support, justice, and healing towards black girls. And if you have gotten towards this part of the video, I want to say thank you so much. Um, I've been thinking about Wendell and Wilde still. Like, I really feel like even though I have my own issues with the movie, I really, I really want to thank the creators of Wendell and Wilde and everybody who worked on the team for doing their due diligence to even have a story like this. And if you guys want to hear more about my series, um, about black girls, their trauma and their grief, make sure that you subscribe hit the bell notification. These videos are gonna be coming out soon, y'all. And make sure that you hit the thumbs up button because it really helps push the video out in the algorithm so other people can hear about black girl trauma and their grief. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye.